Hey, Creative Weirdos. So today we're going to check out a couple of final draft alternatives to screenwriting that are desktop based. This is going to be more of a PC version of this. I will do a Mac version of this in the future. But right now, going through all these other software that are browser based or anything like that, honestly, if something happens online or whatever, you rather have a standalone desktop application for screenwriting that is simple and easy to use rather than using a browser. Because if you have no internet, et cetera, et cetera, you know the rest. It's very straightforward and simple. And before we get into that, we're going to look into the basic structure of a screenplay. So let's look at that first. So obviously at the top, you have a scene heading. Then you have your action paragraph usually. Then you have your character name then parenthetical, then dialogue, then transition, and then it repeats and repeats. And then there's variations of this, but we can get into that in different episodes. So let's dive into the king, obviously, is Final Draft. So obviously Final Draft, it is very expensive, honestly. It's at version 13 right now, and there are older versions. There are, you can find things online. I, I won't mention certain things, but you can find tons of things online. It's good for a reason, honestly. It's very fluid, intuitive, and I use it personally for most of the things I'm doing. There are exceptions where Final Draft is not the best. It crashes sometimes, and that's the sucky thing about Final Draft. But let's just dive into that and just make a basic scene. It doesn't have to be perfect, just to give you an understanding of the software itself. So in Final Draft, at the top, you can see the different menu bars. You can have the home, the file, etc. It's very easy, honestly, compared to other UIs. There is a contender, honestly, for a free software that will be number two going through this, and you'll see it. But we'll go through at least two others or three others. And so let's make a basic scene. So scene heading, obviously, will always be EXT, which is exterior, or interior. And it's intuitive. I, this is, I opened a brand new page. Automatically, it, you know, it knows. And that's the beautiful thing about the fluidity of Final Draft. So if we go downtown street, and then usually if you put a dash, it will, this is the beautiful thing always, dash, what is it going to be? It knows either dawn, day, dusk, or put an N there, as long as you put the letter there and night. So let's just say it's night, doesn't really matter. And then if we press enter or the return key on both Mac or PC, it should give us action. And I don't know if you can see that. So there you go, action. So we're going to use voice to text for this. And we're going to see just to speed things up. The beautiful thing about voice to text is it just speeds things up. And if you have Grammarly, which is another thing, it would correct things for you. Final Draft does work with Grammarly, which is beautiful. There's some software that doesn't most nowadays do, which is pretty good. So we have your action and then we go through, if we press tab, we should get dialogue. First character, parenthetical, then dialogue. There we go. So let's just say Joe. If you press enter, it goes straight to dialogue. But if you press backspace again or erase, it goes back to Joe. But if you press tab, you should get parenthetical. There you go. So let's just say shouting. And then if you press enter, it should give us the dialogue. And say, what the hell is that? If we press enter, it should give us action again. Yep. If we press tab twice, tab once will give us the character. Tab twice will give us transition, scene transition. There you go. So cut to, it automatically knows because it gives you, it gives you a list and it says cut to. So that's the basic scene. So now let's check out one that I used to use called Celtex. It was a free software way back when, and you can see here it's bought out by another company, so it's no longer free. It was the second best script software, honestly. Now it's not free anymore. As you can see, a, a lot of products have changed over the years. So we're, I still have the old version, so let's check out the old version of that and do the exact same thing. Now this is Celtex. It was free back in the days. You could find the old versions that are free because honestly, the script softwares are just basic and you don't need to upgrade in my opinion. The only reason why I like Final Draft is it's more versatile and you can collaborate with people and it has a good beat board and you know, timelines and everything like that. So same thing, scene heading. 
it's a very simple UI, honestly, for a first time beginner. If you can find a free version of cell text, the older versions, I think it's after version before version three. So let's try CNetting EXT. This one already knows. Oh, it's not going to do the exact same thing. If I press uh, right, it won't go, but either way, EXT, enter, town, town, street. on street dash day this one doesn't show you like yeah it doesn't show you the day or anything like that but everything has its pros and cons if you press enter it should give us action yep gives us action and we're gonna say voice to text speed things up done fix that press enter again it should give it, it should give us action yep but if we press tab it should give us a character Joe, if we press tab again, it should give us a parenthetical. No, weird. Let's try this again. Press tab, character, Joe. So in this case, I have to press enter. I get dialog, but I want parenthetical. So at the top, I have to go scroll down parenthetical, whereas final draft is a lot more intuitive in this way. So there's your parenthetical, and we're just going to say softly and then we're going to press enter for dialogue what the hell is that if you press enter it should give us action nope more dialogue and character okay no let's see double then so you have to press it twice to get action again but if you press tab let's see if it gives us transition nope nope no nope, no nope. so in Final Draft, if you press tab, tab, it will give you dialogue or character's name, then transition. In this case, I have to actually go down the menu. Like I said, this is it's just extra steps, but I've gotten used to certain uh, steps in uh, Final Draft transition. And then we say cut to. So this one doesn't give you a drop down menu right away. So cut to enter should give us a scene heading or an action. Let's see. Scene heading, perfect. So once I changed it to transition, it goes right back. So at least that's good. So if you find the software, which I'll put a, hopefully I'll put a link at the bottom in the description, this is a good go-to, but there's a new competitor after this next one, but I'm just gonna go through it because some people like certain styles in certain ways. So let's go to the next one, which is called Trelby. So this is Trelby, it's a newer one. Um, honestly, it's more bare bones than Celtex. To me, it's a little bit annoying in terms of its UI, but it's still a free software, honestly. If you know how to structure a script, most of these softwares will just be perfect for you. There are ones that are more intuitive, and let's check this one out. So in Trelby, we're gonna do the same thing and see what happens. Let's see if it's as intuitive as the other ones. It's more bare bones, as you can see. So we're gonna do EXT. And let's see, no, nope, it doesn't give you any autofill. So EXT period, downtown, nothing, dash. No, nope, it's bare bones so far. But if you look at the top right, at least it's telling you it's a scene heading. If you press enter, it gives you action. If you press tab, it gives you character. So if you press action, there you go. So we pressed enter to get action, perfect. So we, we're gonna use voice to text for this, to speed things up. Fix that, put a period. Now it's telling us, at least it's giving us a direction, whereas cell text is not giving us a direction. So there's a, a benefit to this. It's bare bones, but that's so far better than cell text. Cell text is a better UI, but this is a better thing at the top right. At least it's giving you directions. So if you press enter, we get action. But if you go back, we want tab, which gives us character name. Perfect. Let's see if it gives us a parenthetical. And if you don't know, a parenthetical is just direction for the dialogue. If somebody's speaking loudly, softly, or at somebody specifically, that's what parenthetical is. Joe, if you press enter, oh, beautiful. It gives us parenthetical, press tab. So cell text didn't allow us to do that. If we press tab, parenthetical, amazing, loud. And then we press enter, we get the, the actual dialogue. We say, what the hell is that? exclamation point so it's tab action now we want to see if it gives us transition in final draft if you press tab twice it gives us a transition so let's see tab tab nope so that's the only thing missing but if we press enter enter let's see no let's see if we press 
enter enter no weird so there's no new scene so far so that's so far what's missing it doesn't give you a scene heading so there is a limitation on this one so i think you have to let's look at the top right let's figure this out ext no so it is missing a lot of things honestly so far this is not the best but there's one thing it's free honestly and it's better than cell text in one aspect and that is the top right giving you a direction of what key to press to get the next element in the script so let's move on to the next one which is honestly my favorite free software right now for screenwriting let's dive into that so i think this is a good competitor honestly it's very intuitive the ui is pretty nice and honestly i like it if i give up on final draft this would be a good one but the problem is there's no more updates for it because like another company bought it out and now it's called as you can see story architect compared to kit scenarios but you can still download this and i'll put the link in the description below you can still get this version and it's worth it the ui looks modern and everything like that so let's dive into that so we're in the software right now and we're just gonna go through the quick things create a project whatever name doesn't matter and if I go to the right side, this is a little bit confusing because it's not as, as straightforward, but once you get past this, it really is really nice. So on the left side, it says script, click on script, and it takes us to a script page. So we're gonna do the same thing, EXT, see it automatically gives us the option. EXT, if we press forward or enter, there you go. Downtown street dash, it should hopefully, let's see. There you go. So it's on par so far with Final Draft and it's free. So we'll go with the day. I don't say, let's say morning. And if I press enter, it takes us straight to action. Amazing. So we're going to use voice to text to speed things up. Perfect. And then we go to, we press enter, should give us either another action. There you go. But if we go back, if we press tab, also one thing I've noticed on the top right, it's giving us a duration. That is actually pretty new, honestly. That is really beneficial for people that are time sensitive in terms of how short a short film would be, et cetera, et cetera. This is amazing, honestly. For what you're getting for a free software, this is really good so far. Because Final Draft gives you a timeline. This is more beneficial because it's like a clock at the top right, if you can see that, it says five seconds. So if we press tab, it should give us dialogue. Joe, if we press tab again, it should give us parenthetical. Yep. Perfect. Okay. If you press enter, it should give us dialogue. Amazing. Amazing. If we press enter, it should give us action again or another scene depending. So let's see. It gives us action. Perfect. And at the top, you can see it has the same drop down menu. Perfect. But in this case, the keyboard shortcuts are working pretty much exactly like Final Draft so far. But if we go back, press enter, we get action. If we press enter again, scene heading, like final draft, honestly, you're not missing out so far. So if you press tab, tab now, no, nope, it goes straight to character, but let's see if we get transition then. Enter, action, tab, character, nope. Enter, 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 so it just gives us back. So to get a transition, you would have to essentially go to the drop down menu at the top and press transition. Honestly, that's the only step missing that is not exactly the same you would press tab if you're on an action, it'll give you character. And then if you press tab again, it would give you transition. But in this case, this is the only gripe that I have with the software. Other than that, the UI is beautiful. It gives you a duration thing. It's very nice, honestly, so far. So this is the one I recommend as an alternative to Final Draft. The other ones are not as good, but they're better than nothing. And they're still free. You can't find cell text. I'll put the link down below. Trelby is, it's, it's okay. It's bare bones. It's okay. Like I said, it's free. Do the best you can with each one. But so far for a free software, Kit Sonartist is the best one so far. So coming back to the beginning, one number one, I recommend Final Draft if you can afford it. Honestly, it's worth it if you can afford it. Two, a good competitor. Honestly, if you can still get it, download it now. I'll put the link in the description below is if I'm pronouncing it right. Kits and artist, amazing free software for script writing. Amazing. Honestly, I tried story architect, their upgraded version because they've been bought out. Not good. Annoying. Could be better in certain aspects, but if you're 
like most writers, you, you don't want to pay for everything because writing is supposed to be super easy, super straightforward. Either you're going to do an analog or you're going to use Microsoft Word. But in this case, you need the formatting. That's the whole point of screenwriting. It's the formatting. But if you're doing the formatting yourself, it takes most of the time away from you. Then I would advise the old cell text, not the new cell text. If you want the new cell text, it is here. It looks nice, honestly, but for free software, the old one is better. And then Trelby. If I give up final draft, this is the one. If you want me to look at other things, please comment down below. Till next time, peace weirdos. Also check out our website for free educational downloads. If you're looking for more story tools, check out our new story planner notebook, a guided story structure composite notebook that gives you step-by-step -step instructions on how to plot your upcoming story. Now available on our website as an ebook and soon a physical book on Amazon and other platforms. And if you're interested, we offer creative consulting and more information. Check out the website in the description below. Till next time, weirdos, peace out.